Pasture renovation or overseeding provides a means to reseed pastures and hayfields without going through the costly and time-consuming process of cultivating the soil. Instead of tilling or turning the soil prior to planting, seed is broadcast over plants already covering a field. Overseeding can be done for a fraction of the cost of conventional reseeding methods. It provides a means to establish higher yielding and more nutritious forage species into existing fields. Field areas damaged by machinery and treading from livestock can be repaired. Productive forages can be planted where weeds had been eradicated. Early spring is an ideal time to overseed. Well-drained fields can be overseeded as early as February. Fields overseeded in March and early April are usually dry enough to support equipment traffic and moist enough for good seed germination. In some parts of the country, overseeding is also referred to as frost seeding because cracks that form in the soil surface as a result of freezing improve conditions for seed germination. Fall may provide an even better time for overseeding because it provides a longer period for seedlings to become established before grazing resumes in spring. Fields are also more accessible in the fall than they are during early spring. Try to complete the job before the end of September to provide time for seedling establishment before the growing season ends in November. Successful forage establishment will, however, be difficult in areas that are prone to flooding and ponding. Seeds must contact soil to grow. Harrowing areas that will be overseeded with a chain or rotary tine harrow before overseeding breaks up moss and decaying organic matter lying on the soil surface that creates a barrier to seed contact with the soil. Don's rotary tine harrow aerates the soil and reduces soil compaction at the same time it prepares the field for overseeding. Perennial ryegrass is the best grass species choice for overseeding because it is vigorous and has the ability to establish an existing stand of forage. White clover is another forage species that can also be successfully overseeded but also adds nitrogen to the soil. Most other forage species either fail to establish or would have to be seeded at rates too high to justify economically. Once established, the management of perennial ryegrass and white clover are similar to many of the sod forming grasses that typically occur in western Washington pastures. Orchard grass grows taller than other forages and therefore requires different management in order to thrive. While Timothy produces excellent hay but does not provide well in a pasture situation. If a pasture mix must be used, then choose one with the highest percentage of perennial and annual ryegrasses in the mix. Avoid mixes that include alls like clover for horse pastures unless you know your horses tolerate this particular legume. A standard seeding rate for overseeding is a mix of 15 pounds of perennial ryegrass and 2 pounds of white clover per acre. This mix is enough to provide over 100 seeds per square foot of acre seeded. Chest spreaders work well for small acreages. Be sure to calibrate your spreader to determine the right setting for your travel speed and the amount of seed you intend to plant before getting started. Some prefer to spread half the seed at a time with the second seeding broadcast in a path perpendicular to the first broadcast path. Broadcast paths should overlap by a few feet. Broadcast spreaders are available can also be mounted on the back of tractors, trucks, ATVs, and broadcast trailers such as the one Don is using here. Many seed and fertilizer dealers can also custom seed larger fields with air seeders. Firm contact between seed and soil helps promote the seed germination and seedling development. If available, fern the soil by using a chain harrow, cultipacker, or roller after seeding. Another tried and true method of firming the soil is to graze the field shortly after it's overseeded. This is a case where the hooves of the livestock that may have originally caused damage are now being listed to restore the forage growth. Perennial ryegrass and white clover are both low, densely growing forage species. Under rotational grazing systems, livestock are introduced to pastures when these forages reach about 6 inches high, and they are moved to another field when stubble measures 2 to 3 inches. Since the root systems of younger seedlings are not as well developed as mature plants, they can easily be pulled up while being grazed. For this reason, it is critical to promptly move livestock from recently overseeded fields and not allow overgrazing to occur. Brought to you by Walken Conservation District, serving Walken County since 1946.